Oh, Leo, the great sun has made the stupid twins a nursery. <laughs> we'll see about that. I'm going to wreck this place and then do everything I can to make them twins pay. I was supposed to be the only son. King Arthur, I'm the best. Yes, you are, Arthur. I know. Now, sorry, Leo. I'm going to destroy all your work. Okay, Leo, in you come here, pack the car, grocery shopping is complete. Okay, 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 let's do this, let's do this. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down, and reverse her in, reverse her in. Nice and easy does it, nice and easy. Remember last time you crashed it into the pond like a silly billy, and you had to get it towed out and fixed. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay, straighten it up, straighten it up. Ah, okay. And that'll do. I think that'll do. That'll do perfectly. Okie dokie. Alright, up to the kitchen. Put away the groceries. I just picked up some stuff because there's nobody really at home to do any shopping. So, why not go pick some stuff up? Even though the only person I'm going to probably be feeding is Arthur. Or if he even eats food here. Knowing him, he probably eats out every single night of the week. Okay, Leo. Into the kitchen. Don't mind what your brother does because your brother does not have any interest in any of this. Oh, so far. So... Go in, drop off your groceries, fly upstairs, get changed, have a shower so you can head back into the city and see how the twins are doing. Tomatoes there, apples there, bread, you can go in here, like that. Then we can put water, 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 water. Gotta stay hydrated, guys. Gotta stay hydrated. Okay, fridge, space, milk, happy days, cheese. Who loves cheese? I love cheese. Okay. Uh, everything else is in. We actually got loads and loads of meat there, so I don't even know why I ended up buying more. But we've tomatoes, apples, water, milk. Okie dokie. Everything seems good. Back up to my bedroom so that I can get changed, get ready, head back in to the hospital, see how mum's doing, how the twins are getting on. Everything looks okay in here. Okie dokie. Up the stairs. Uh, la 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 la. What? What's go What's going on here? Hello? Hello? Why Why is the nursery being trashed? Where is everything? What the Oh, wait. Oh my. Who Ah. Why would somebody even do this? Where is everything gone from the nursery? The cots are gone, the toys, the broken bits in the wall, the table, the chairs. The rocking horse, oh my gosh, like who actually would come in and do that? They're babies. Ah. Okay, okay, um, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Think, 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 think. I'm gonna have to get this all fixed up, like I'm gonna have to get it ready again because they could be coming home any moment and who would even? Arthur? Hello? Anybody home? Nobody home. What am I gonna do? Ah, oh, this is so soul destroying after I spent time and you guys helped me with it and everything. I guess there's only one thing I can do and that is fix up everything. But I wanted to go home to relax and go back into the hospital and now I have to come home and fix the nursery because someone's after trashing it. I don't even know why somebody would do this. Okay, Leo, get your game on and we have to get this fixed.
Oh, the prodigal son returns to fix the stupid nursery. If he thinks I'm going to stop at that, he's got another thing coming. I'm going to keep ruining anything related to these twins until they never come home because I make things so bad for them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am so tired after that. But at least everything's back to normal. It looks like it looks like everything's good. Oh gosh, who would have done that in the first place? Everything's back. Hopefully now when the twins come home, it'll be okay. But I have to keep an eye out. Somebody's up to something and I don't like it. Oh my gosh, Leo, I'm so tired. I don't even know what to do. Maybe I'll go grab a coffee down the road and just sort of chill out for a bit before I go back to the hospital because... I am just shattered after that. Oh, gosh. Okay, Leo. If the nursery done... I don't even know who did that in the first place, but when I find out, there will be vengeance. They will pay. Okay. Go in here, get a coffee. Maybe read a book and just sort of chill out a small bit before... Hmm, Last Secrets, Living Touch, Burning Heat, Burning Years... Secret Heat... Ooh, Angel Guy? Um, Secret Heat. Book, coffee, and chill out for a little bit. Good evening, or good afternoon even. Oh my gosh, how are you doing? What can I get for you today, Prince Leo? And the congratulations! I heard that the Queen gave birth to two beautiful twins. A boy and a girl, I do believe. Oh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, my mum gave birth to the day, so we have a new baby brother and a new baby sister. It's amazing. Um, let me see for my coffee. Could I get just a cappuccino, please? And maybe a donut or some description, if you don't mind. Ah, oh, fantastic news. Would you like anything else with your coffee, my good sir? A donut or a biscuit, perhaps? Yeah, a donut would be perfect. Thanks a million. I've just had the craziest day ever. Came home from being in the hospital, visiting my parents, and visiting the twins, and the nursery that I just built as a surprise before my mum got home, completely and utterly destroyed. That's why I came down here to get coffee, so I can try to re-energize and like, chill out a small bit before I go back into the city. But I just had to fix the whole thing there. Like, what the heck? What? Someone destroyed the nursery out of nowhere? That is so strange. You're telling me. I couldn't get over it like the strangest thing in the world. Who in their right mind would have a grudge against a baby boy and a baby girl? Like, it's absolutely outrageous. But, anyway, thank you very much. I got my coffee here. I got the donut here. It was so nice of you asking about the twins and everything as well. But I'm probably going to head out now and read some of my book. Thank you, and take it easy, Leo. Tell your parents I was asking for them the next time you visit the hospital. Of course I will. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Whew. It is such a glorious day here in the Magical Kingdom. I'd love to just go swimming in there, but I won't. I'm going to sit up here, chill out for a little bit before I head back to the castle, drink some coffee, and read my book. Distant into the jungle lies a tiny camp named... Don't worry guys, I'm not going to read the whole thing out to you. I usually read in my head. But I'm going to read some of this and chill out because I need to. My muscles are aching.
have to be smarter. Come on, Arthur, control yourself. You're going to get yourself caught. I need to be smarter. Come on, Arthur, think, think. How can I get the twins and Leo? I know, Leo is probably fixing the play area as I speak. I need to think outside the box. Oh my gosh, this is so good, this is so good. Well, I think I'm gonna go back in, I'll put it back in the shelf. Maybe I'll finish it another time because it is such a good book. Here, here's my empty cup of coffee if you just want to throw it in the bin. Thank you so, so much. It was absolutely delicious. It's exactly what I needed to just chill out before I go back. Whew. Okay, Leo. Um, you have to go back to the castle. You have to get stuff done. And what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, oh, I wonder how the play area... Oh... Ah! What is going on? What? Who? Oh my god, this place is trashed! Seriously! Somebody has a serious grudge against these twins! Who in their right mind would even do some... I suppose that the basketball court is still okay, but like... Ugh, oh, I just fixed the nursery and now I have to come and fix this and Raven gave me a hand doing this. And he's not here. Okay, well... Oh, I suppose there's only one thing I can do, and I better get it done because I don't know when these twins are going to come home. Right, Leo, you had your coffee, and now all your energy is going to be gone because you have to fix this place up yet again because somebody destroyed the nursery, and now they destroyed the play area. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to come up with a plan. I think I already have it, and I'm going to see. I'm going to see who's scheming. Who's scheming against these twins? Okay, guys, well, sit tight because I'm gonna get this set up right away. Okay, that's all I can do. I think that's everything from what I can remember. It looks pretty much the same as it used to be, but I'm definitely gonna have to. Okay, I'm gonna jump up here, see if everything's okay. It looks a bit better, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna have to come up with some sort of plan and see who is doing this because I'm sick and tired of coming around and having to fix up things. And then, on top of that, why would they want to destroy stuff that's for babies? It's for cute, adorable babies, my brother and sister. Who in their right mind would be against that? I think the only thing now I'm going to do is go in, jump in my car, head for the hospital, check up on mum and dad and the twins, and fill dad in on what's going on because it's really, really beginning to, like, baffle me massively. Whew, okay. Maybe I should get, like, an energy drink because I'm absolutely wrecked. But, no, no I'm not. Okay, we're gonna jump in the car, and let's get out of here. Gosh, it's so dark out. Oh, I'm so tired. I just do so much stuff today fixing up the nursery, fixing up the play area. I really have to get down to who's actually wrecking things because it is absolutely driving me insane. Is there bathrooms down here? Is there. Uh, what is this? I don't know. Nope, no bathrooms. Oh, no bathrooms here. Maybe I'll go upstairs and just see how my parents are doing. And take it from there. Oh, gosh, I really am just shattered. I can't wait to see though how the twins are doing. Hopefully my mom's doing a bit, bit better. I wonder how my dad is actually getting on as well. Because he's just been staying here non-stop since the babies have been born. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, dad, how are you doing? How are you getting on? Hello, son. How are you? Not too bad. It's been a pretty hectic day, dad. Somebody destroyed the nursery I built, somebody destroyed the play area that I built, and I had to fix them all up. I got them all fixed up, but my gosh, it's just been non-stop. How's things here, though? Is everything okay? What? Are you kidding me? Who would do such a thing? Have you seen anyone or anything suspicious? How did you manage to fix them all as well? Thank you. Um, I just did that. It took me a while, but I had a sort of rough idea of what to do, so I did it all, but... How's mum doing? How's she getting on? Your mom is still not doing well, Leo. Things are hard at the moment. She's still getting weaker and weaker and the doctors are still trying to find the cause. It's like a guessing game at this stage. Please don't be worried or afraid, Leo. 
It's times like these when your mother needs you to be the strongest, especially since the twins are born. Can you do that for me, son? Of course, Dad, I can do that for you. I can't believe... I just hope Mum's gonna be okay. Oh my gosh. I'll be as strong though, Dad. I am not gonna let you down or let Mum down. Don't worry. I always knew you were a great son. You can go in and say a quick hello if you want. Maybe if you'd like, you could grab a bed in the room with the twins after. I'm sure they'd like the company as well. Okay, Dad, I suppose I am pretty tired. It'd probably make more sense for me to stay here with the twins and with you than go home and just be on my own. I'm gonna go in here and say a quick goodnight to Mum. Hi, Mum, I hope you're doing well. I miss you so much and I'm trying to be as strong as I can, but it's... You were always so strong for me and you were always there when I needed you the most. Gosh, it's so hard seeing you like this, Mum. I'm gonna kiss you goodnight. I'll see you soon. I'll be in tomorrow, I promise. It's so hard, Dad. I'm gonna go catch some sleep anyway. Good night, Dad. Bye.